During the Black Lives Matter protests in Little Rock, Republican Governor Asa Hutchinson sat down in a private meeting with representatives from the protest groups to try to find common ground. If a similar protest happened on your watch, how would you handle it, Mr. Harrington? Well, if you want to know something about me, I like people. I, I love people. I love working with them. And I've worked with people that happen to be hostile uh, quite frequently. And the skill is, is turning that hostile environment into a, a conducive environment for resolution or reconciliation. I've done this all my life. And all it is is a matter of scale and magnitude. If you're faithful in the little things, you be faithful in the big things is what I hear. So if we, if we are dealing with crises in Arkansas, I'll be ready to sit down at the table and talk with anybody. Because we, we have to have those good faith conversations. We have to stretch out that hand to our fellow human being. We need to start working toward reconciliation in our country right now and back away from this hyper-partisanship that we've been dealing with. We have to start valuing the humanity of other human beings. To Ms. Sanders for one minute. I want to be the governor for all of Arkansas, whether people vote for me or not. That's why I've spent the last two years on the campaign trial talking about things that actually empower every Arkansan, things that bring our state together, things that build our state up, things that transform our state for the better and help Arkansas be the best place to live, work, and raise a family. Focusing on things like education that impact every single child in this state, focusing on things like public safety, which make a determination of whether or not a child has the ability to grow up and be safe, whether they're at school, on the street, or long after when they're grandparents in nursing homes. Making sure that we are doing things and implementing policy that helps every single Arkansan has been the focus of my entire campaign. Focusing on the positivity and the things that build us up instead of focusing on things that tear us down. That's the type of governor I'm gonna be because it's the type of candidate I've been. Dr. Jones. I think Governor Hutchinson did the right thing. It is absolutely critical that we have inclusive conversations where we're bringing people to the table and getting at the root of issues. You can't get at the root of issues if you're unwilling to speak and, and stand on the truth. Uh, and I, so I applaud what he did. And as governor, I would certainly do that. I've done it in the organizations that I've run where people will disagree, but that disagreement doesn't mean that we have to have a barrier and stop. It's through that disagreement, if we keep pushing through, that we can find out what's really going on, what are the root causes? Is it mental health and need to provide mental health services? Is it economic development and need to provide economic development services? Or is it a real deep issue like race or sexism or, or, or any other thing that we don't often want to talk about? But you have to be willing to have those tough conversations. And it's through those tough conversations that we get to a better Arkansas. Mr. Harrington, we go back to you for another 30 seconds. Uh, yesterday, I had a chance to speak to some of the students in Russellville, Arkansas, at Arkansas Tech. And we had a very serious discussion about race. And we have yet, as a people in America, to have a serious discussion about race. And it's not about making someone feel less of a human being, whatever color you may be. But we are going to have to have a sit down with one another and hash it out. Let it all out so we can move forward as a people together. Ms. Sanders, you have another 30. Focusing on policy that brings our state together and makes life better for everybody, there's nothing more inclusive and empowering for our Kansans than that making sure that each of our kids have access to that quality education and making sure that the streets they grow up on are safe. There's nothing that can help our state and transform it more than providing opportunity for every person who lives here. Dr. Jones, you have another 30 seconds. Our Kansans are asking for a governor who is calm, measured, and pragmatic, and who will look everyone in the eye and say, you matter, you're valued, and I want your voice to have a seat at the table. As governor, I will do that every day because it's something that I've done every day of my life. 
And I do it because of my deep foundation in faith. I believe that God created all of us for a purpose, and we only get to a better future if we're fulfilling those purposes together.